Being able to attract women mostly comes down to knowing about female nature. The very foundation of how women have evolved in order to select which males they want to reproduce with. This mostly comes down to being a man of purpose and discipline, being confident, and not simping. This is no secret, and it is by far the most important factor if you want to attract females. But that is not what this video is about. So if you do not know about basic female nature, I suggest that you watch my video on that as well. Now even though being confident and dominant are the most important factors, there are still a ton of smaller, more subtle things that women find attractive in men. And when you combine these, you will dramatically increase your chances of women finding you attractive. I will make more videos about such traits in the future, but in this video we are going to focus specifically on five surprising and weird things that women actually find attractive. But I should tell you already that you should not try to fake any of these traits. It might work for you, but being authentic is more important. Remember that. But the information is still valuable. The more you know, the more you grow. Make sure you stick around to the end, because the last one is really important. Now before we get into it, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks brother, I appreciate it. Now let's get into it. Number 5. Being introverted. Contrary to popular belief, women are actually very into introverted guys. Most guys have this idea that they need to be some kind of social butterfly in order to attract women. This is a huge misconception. If you are extremely outgoing and social, it can bring a lot of benefits to your life. And you will probably also get laid because you will get more opportunities, which is good. But the kind of energy you emit, if you can't stop running your mouth, is actually a little feminine. I'm sorry to break it to you. Now, if this is you, Simply being aware of it can change the whole game for you. Simply being aware of when you get too loud and then adjusting accordingly will help you tremendously. Being a little withdrawn and being a man of few words can actually be very attractive to women. It is more masculine to be cool and calm than it is to run around hitting it off with everybody. You add a little bit of mystery to you because you do not give it all away. And this is extremely attractive to women. But remember this, and really listen up now, because this is important. I know that some of you, maybe even a lot of you, are going to be introverts. That is fine. But if you are introverted, because you are shy or because you are lacking confidence or social skills, you still really need to work on this. There is a huge difference between being introverted because you don't have the need to be social all the time, and being introverted because you don't know how to be social. If the latter is you, you need to work on your social skills. And you can only do this by getting out of your comfort zone and into more social situations. You need to remember that you can be confident and have good social skills and still be an introvert. That is what women are attracted to. If you are only quiet because you are having a panic attack on the inside, it is not going to help you attract any females. Remember that guys. Number four, having a bromance. Every man who has a close circle of friends should have at least a little bit of bromance going on. Not just for the sake of being more attractive to women, but because close, deep, and meaningful friendships with your brothers are extremely important. So if you have one, or maybe a few friends, that you are extremely close with, letting her see how much you and your friends love each other can be a huge turn-on for her. And there is a few reasons for this. First off, let's say you are hanging out in a group with your friends and the girl you are trying to attract. If you show nothing but love and recognition for your friends, it tells her that you do not lack anything yourself. Remember, if you have the need to drag other people down, it is most likely because you are not happy with yourself. So this exudes confidence. Secondly, there is the funny and wholesome aspect of it. In my opinion, there is nothing more wholesome than brotherly love and girls feel the same way. So when you meet up with your brother, don't be afraid to tell him that he looks like an absolute stud. She will think that it is wholesome and cute, which in this case is very good. And lastly, the most important reason, it shows her that you are an accepted and appreciated member of a tribe, and it shows her that other men respect you, which is extremely important for your social status. And social status is everything. Number three, being a nerd. 
No, I am not talking about being that awkward high school kid with huge glasses and a terrible outfit that we all know from movies. But being a little nerdy about something is a good thing. It does not have to be anything specific. The main thing is that you have something that you are passionate about. But I am going to say that video games do not count. I'm sorry, but no woman is going to think that it's sexy if a man is passionate about spending entire days playing video games alone in his room. But having something that you can emerge yourself into during your free time, something that you are knowledgeable about that most other people know nothing about. Maybe you like to work with wood in your garage. Maybe you collect rare rocks that you travel the world to acquire. Maybe you are into cars. Whatever the case may be, I can promise you this. If she starts asking you about this nerdy hobby of yours and you start talking about it with passion, pride, and confidence, just watch as her eyes light up and she begins to blush. Women find this incredibly sexy. But don't just pick a random hobby because you want to be more attractive. Find something you are actually into, then go from there. Number 2. Being a good driver Without making any jokes about women's driving abilities, there is a societal expectation that men are the better drivers than women. Pure and simple, and it has been this way forever. There is just something masculine about being in control of a motor vehicle moving at high speeds. So if you are not able to handle such a vehicle properly, it will hurt your manliness. In her eyes, and in your own eyes. Now there is a difference between being a skilled driver and being a good driver in the eyes of the law. It goes without saying that you should be both of these. But being a skilled driver, meaning that you know how to handle a car, is more important than being a good, lawful driver. Again, I am not saying that you should go out and drive like a maniac just because you are a skilled driver. But speaking exclusively in terms of what is more attractive to women, it is not particularly attractive to just be driving below the speed limit. It is not particularly unattractive either, which is important to mention. But this is what it all boils down to. It is your ability to control the vehicle that is attractive. Not that you know how to be a law-abiding citizen, which you should also be. So make sure you got that down. Number one, being just a little bit weird. Finally, the most important one in my opinion. If you already got your confidence and social skills down, then being just a little bit weird can really be the icing on the cake. This will make you mysterious, unpredictable, and interesting. But these are all nearly irrelevant. What really matters is that it makes you funny. And this is probably one of the easiest ways to a woman's heart. I am not saying that you should be a total nut job and forget your manners. And certainly do not be a creep. You shouldn't overdo it. But just being a little bit odd and a little bit different and sometimes doing or saying some unpredictable and weird things can really make her think about you. She might start to wonder, what is actually going on in your head? I will not be able to give you a specific example of this because this is not a bunch of pickup lines that can be replicated. That is because this varies from person to person. We all have our own unique and strange traits. So what it all really boils down to is that you should be comfortable and confident with who you are. Therefore, you are not afraid to share those strange, silly behaviors of yours with her, and she will think that it is sweet and funny. Really, it simply makes you human. That's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.